Hi everybody, it's Terry with paperologist.blogspot.com and I'm going to do a really quick five minute video here as a response to a YouTube question that I got. Um, the question was, how do you print out a list of something that's in your file? This person has a lot of GSD files, which are the files that uh, you use to cut through your craft robo, but those files don't have icons and I have the same situation. So I'm going to go to my computer and to my C drive. And inside this folder are the GSD files. Okay, so um, these are the native files that the Craft Robo will cut. And you can download some freebie files from the internet or some of them actually came with my Craft Robo like I think this one did. And um, if you double click on them, it opens in the Craft Robo software, but there's no little icon. So how can I print out this list? So here are the steps. And um, there are some little applications you can download to do this, but if you're not really comfortable with where your shareware is coming from, then I don't necessarily recommend doing that. So what you're going to do is go to the Start menu, and you're going to pick Run and you're at um, the command prompt here so you're going to type in cmd enter and we'll move this out of the way so you can see where we're at here you want to take note of where that gsd folder is and it was on the main level of my c drive so now what we're going to do is we're going to type in cd that means change directory space c colon backslash GSD files exactly the way it is and now we're in that folder so now we're going to get ready to print this directory so we're going to type in dir for directory space greater than space file list dot txt now it should be in that same folder where we were just at so I'm going to go to my computer C drive GSD files I'm going to sort by name and there it is. We can also, it's probably easier if you sort by date. So there it is. It's on the top. So I'm going to drag this over to my desktop and I'm going to open that up. Okay, so we're going to open this up. This is a basic text file. There is just not a lot of pretty formatting here at all. So my recommendation would be to take this into Excel or Microsoft Word. So let's go to Excel really quickly here. I'm going quickly because I have a five minute capture time and I don't want to have to edit this video. So let's go to File, Open, let's go to Desktop, and we're going to look for Text Files, and we're going to open it. And unless you're pretty savvy with Excel, I would just let it process and pick Finish. Here are all your files. Now, these are the dates that they were added to that directory. I don't really care about any of those, so I'm going to delete those. And I can delete these files, don't really need those. And I'm going to delete these. And if you notice, they're alphabetical. And you could put in a header row here if you want. We could put date and name. Okay and you can drag this out. There are other ways to do this in Excel, but I just don't have quite enough time to show that. And um, so there's our list. So now let's print it out. File, print, and I'm going to use my Acrobat again. And it's going to ask me to save it as a name. And it's processing it. And here is my list. Um, like I said, it's not super pretty yet, but it's definitely functional. And that's how you do it. So here are the steps again. I'll go ahead and put those in the sidebar. I'll cut and paste them. Be sure and type in whatever your file name is. And this is Terry with paperologist.blogspot.com. And this is a little bit of a, of a geek video, but I hope it helps you out. Please rate. Please subscribe and check out my blog. Have a great day.